Welcome to Part 1 of Informed, What the Dialysis Provider Needs to Know. In this presentation, we will describe the purpose and conduct of the informed study. What is the informed study? The informed or instant functional outcomes report for medical encounters in dialysis study aims to first design a tool that will collect data on physical functioning and generate an individualized report of patients' relative multi-domain functional status. This aim is complete. Now, in a pilot study, we aim to assess measures of patient-centeredness before and after delivery of the functional status report to dialysis patients and their providers. The informed study is funded by Satellite Healthcare, a not-for-profit renal provider. Why is this study important? Levels of physical functioning, are both good and bad, are not always well recognized by dialysis providers. This is because the patient is most often seen seated in a chair and may not always share or even recognize problems with their own functioning. We do know that low levels of physical function are associated with increased mortality, morbidity, and healthcare utilization in dialysis patients. Thus, whenever possible, we want to preserve functioning in those with good function and support patients with poor function. Also, functional status assessment is being considered by CMS as a dialysis pay for performance measure. So it is important to explore ways now to summarize and contextualize information about physical functioning. It is also important to remember that physical functioning itself is an important patient-centered outcome in dialysis. Studies such as this Australian study, which asked patients and caregivers to rank their health priorities show that dialysis patients rank outcomes related to daily functioning, such as energy, ability to travel, impact on family, and ability to work, higher than they do mortality. Another reason this study is important is that our outcome, patient-centeredness, is essential to high-quality health care. Patient-centeredness is a primary component of the ICH-CAPS, the patient experience survey required annually by CMS. Facility-level scores on the ICH-CAPS, which are publicly available on Dialysis Facility Compare, affect reimbursement. Thus, there is an incentive to remain above state and national averages on these highlighted items, which include kidney doctors always communicated well and cared for them as a person, dialysis facility staff always communicated well, and kidney doctors and dialysis center staff gave them the information they needed to take care of their health. What will be expected of patients in this study? About 50 patients will be recruited by phone and then enrolled and consented into the study just prior to visit one. Visit 1 will occur on a regularly scheduled dialysis day, excluding Monday and Tuesday. Patients who consent will undergo a brief 5-10 to 10 minute physical performance testing in a private area before they get on the chair. Once patients are on the chair, they will be asked a series of questions from multiple validated surveys covering various aspects of physical functioning and also will be asked about their perceptions of patient-centeredness of their care. Patients will receive a copy of their informed report at the conclusion of Visit 1. A scanned copy will be emailed to the care team and also uploaded to the electronic health record for reference during visits. About one month after Visit 1, patients will complete follow-up surveys on perceived patient-centeredness of their care and on the usability of the report they received. What will be expected of providers? As members of the care team for the patient, you will be expected to review reports for your participating patients. When one of your patients completes an assessment, you will receive an email with the report. The report will also be available in the electronic health record. You should be prepared to discuss the report and answer questions if the patient brings it up. You should also ask the patient any questions you have after you read the report 
and offer any resources you think might be available and helpful based on the report. You will also be expected to discuss the report with your patient at least once, even if the patient does not bring it up. You may also receive general reminder emails to review and discuss reports on your patients. You are, of course, welcome to take as many visits as you like to discuss the issues that arise after reviewing the report with the patient. You can discuss the report during your individual rounds or during interdisciplinary rounds as a team. Providers who receive at least one report will be contacted to complete a single online follow-up survey at the end of the study, which should take approximately 10 minutes. What will not be expected of providers? You will not perform any functional assessments. The research team will perform these assessments and the results will be summarized on the report you receive. You do not have to discuss every aspect of the report. You can focus on what you and the patient find most important or concerning. If the patient is functioning well, you might want to discuss strategies for maintaining function. Finally, you are not expected to solve any potential problem that is indicated by the report. Rather, we hope that potential problems will be discussed and that patients will be referred to other providers or resources if they may be helpful and the patient is interested. Most importantly, we hope that shared knowledge of functioning, whether that functioning is good or bad, will be incorporated into shared decision making and improve patient-provider communication. How will I interpret the report? Part 2 of this webinar provides a detailed overview of the report and its components. It can be accessed at any time on our website. Thanks to our study personnel and to our study funder, Satellite Healthcare. And thanks to you, the provider, for participating in Informed. If you have any questions as the study progresses, please feel free to consult the study website or contact me directly.